Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti Rajani, working here as Functional Consultant. So in today's video, we will discuss about the setups of cash management module. Cash management module helps you to effectively manage and control your cash cycle. So for performing the cash management task, you are required to give the user a role that is cash management. And the privileges that comes with this role is it protects and develops the company's liquid assets for maximizing their use and return to the organization. So these are the following setups that you have to perform for the cash management module. First, you have to create the bank. This is the very first step in the bank account creation. For that, you have to uh, use the task manage banks. Then you have to create the branch. Once you have created your bank, the next step is creating a branch or branches associated to that bank. For this, you have to use the task manage bank branches. The third one is you have to create the account for that branch and do the following setup in the accounts task. For this, you have to use the task manage bank account. Now we will move to our application to see how to perform these tasks in the application. Here, go to setup and maintenance first. Here, select the offering as financial. Here, select the cash management and banking. Here, you can see the required task and select all tasks here. You can see the tasks that are required to be performed in the cash management and these are the mandatory tasks for the cash manage module. Now click on manage bank. With this task, you can create your bank here. Click on create icon. Select the country here. I'm selecting it as United States. You can give the name of the bank here. Here, if you want to give the alternate bank name, you can give here the bank code, description, taxpayer ID, tax registration number. These fields are not mandatory. So these are the optional fields. If you want to fill it, you can fill it. Here, providing the address also is optional. You can give the address of your bank here by clicking on create icon. But these are the optional fields. Click on OK. This is how you can create the bank here. Now click on save and close. Click on OK. The next step is to create the branch. Now you have two ways to create the branch. You can create the branch directly from here. Also, you can see there is a separate task for it that is manage bank branches. Here you have to click on create branch. First you have to select the bank. Select the bank here. Then click on create branch. You can see here the application has taken the bank name automatically now you have to give the branch name branch one rts bank here you can give the alternate branch name 
here you give the routing number now we will search the routing number for chicago here you can give the branch number type bank branch type these all fields are optional even the address fields are optional so the mandatory fields are the branch name and the routing number in this way you can create the bank branch now click on save and close the next step is to create the account for these branches click on ok Now click on view branches. For creating the account, there's a separate task that is manage bank account. You can create the bank account from here also. And by clicking on manage bank branches, you can select the bank branch here. You can see the branch that we have created. Now select this branch and go to create account. You can see the bank name here. Now it is asking for account name. You can give the account number of your uh, bank branch. You can give the currency here. I am taking it as USD. You have to associate your legal entity here. Account type is optional. You can select it here whether it is checking other or saving uh, account type. What is the usage of this account? You can select here payables, payroll, receivables. Say I'm selecting payables and receivables. Now these all are the optional fields. Here you have to mention the account for cash. If you want to use this account for multi-currency multi transaction, you can enable this checkbox. Now click on control tab. You can see here, it is asking for manual reconciliation tolerance rule. Automatic reconciliation rule set. Here it is asking for passing rule set. We will see these uh, setups of cash management module in our next video. While creating the bank account, you have to consider one thing that you have to at least give one business unit access to this bank. Now click on create icon and select the business unit here. This is the mandatory field. So you have to select the business unit. Now click on OK. And click on save and close. So this is how we created the manage uh, bank, branch and account. Now I will show you. I have clicked on manage bank task. Click on the bank that we have created. And see the branch that we have created under it. This is the branch. Again select this data to see. Uh, what are the accounts in this branch so click on view accounts and this is the account that we have created so this is the way how we can uh, create the bank bank branch and bank account we will see the rest of the setups in our next video thank you so much for watching this